Welcome viewers! In this episode of Wolf Vision Insights, we are going to take a look at the multi-platform web conferencing solution built into Synapse systems. It's intuitive, easy to use, and it enables a standardized workflow to be used for connecting to and using multiple web conferencing services. In this video, we will show you how your conferences can be conveniently controlled using our Resolution app running on your laptop, smartphone or tablet. Sessions run directly in a browser on a sign app and this offers a big advantage because I don't need to stream full resolution audio and video back to my laptop or personal device, avoiding any bandwidth issues and there's never any need to manually switch between my laptop camera and the room camera. The sign app only needs to send a browser-based view to my app. Let's take a look at how it works. Firstly, let's connect to the sign app using our Resolution app. I'm going to use the app on my laptop as a controller for the web conference and it also enables me to control my sign app content. To connect, I simply enter the connection ID shown in the signup status bar. For extra security, this ID includes a pin which refreshes after every connection. Full support is provided for Zoom and Microsoft Teams, and joining meetings is easy for other services such as FaceTime, WebEx, BlueJeans, Avaya, Whereby, Starleaf and many more. For this demonstration I'm going to be using Zoom. My scheduled meetings are shown on screen and other sessions can be easily joined by pasting in the respective join code. I've got my Zoom login credentials already stored in the app on my personal device and every time I start or join a call, they are simply pushed to the sign app. When I end the call, my credentials are automatically deleted from the sign app. Let's start a meeting. This opens up a new view on the app enabling me to toggle between either control call, which shows the normal call interface, or the control content, which I can use to open content on Synap using the source menu. With a remote participant on the call, as usual, I get a large picture of the other person and a small image of room view above it. Changing to gallery view in Zoom means the remote participant and the room are now shown side by side. Now let's add some content. On the app I simply toggle to control content and use the source menu to open content directly from the sign up. Remember at this stage the remote participant doesn't see the on-screen content yet. I can also easily share any on-screen content I want with remote meeting attendees and this includes material from any laptop, smartphones or tablets that are screen mirroring to the local screen. My colleague Simon is sharing content from his iPad onto the screen. Now let's share this content with the remote participant by toggling back to the control call. Clicking on share and then choosing either a single window or the entire content of the screen I want to share into the video conference. Multiple content is now shown together with the video conferencing screen in the room and the share content is highlighted with the green border on the screen. Even if I have my content displaying full screen in the room, I can still control the call by toggling to control call in the app. As you can see, I've got outstanding flexibility to share content both from my laptop and from others present in the room. 
allowing me to provide a consistent on-screen viewing experience for both in-room and remote participants at all times. And that's all there is to it. A superb multi-platform web conferencing solution built right into Synap. Ideal for hybrid working and learning environments of any size. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.